the makings of greatness in you. But you gotta take the helm and chart your own course. Welcome everybody to this episode of Fan Rank. We're gonna be revealing what you, the fans, chose as the top 10 underrated animated movies. Since anime could be a list of its own, we won't be mentioning any of those films, but literally any other animated feature is on the table. Let's go. I, Superman. Okay, Superman. Number 10 is Brother Bear. I'm not a beaver. I'm, I'm a bear. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not a bear. I'm a man. Excuse me? <laughs> I was transformed into a bear, magically. After a boy sees his older brother killed by a bear, he goes and gets revenge on the animal. But as a result, spirits curse him and turn him into a bear himself. Now he has to learn how to be a bear and take care of a cub that got lost along the way. Well, if you hunched your shoulders a little, it wouldn't seem so big. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> or like this? Although this movie did really well at the box office, critics just didn't identify with it. As a result, this movie with beautiful scenery and a great emotional plot got lost in the wild. But it should definitely be revisited anytime you want a good animal and human adventure. He needs me. You know, he did look better as a bear. At number nine, we have Anastasia. Are you trying to tell me that you think that I am Anastasia? All I'm trying to tell you is that I've seen thousands of girls all over the country and not one of them looks as much like the Grand Duchess as you. Anastasia is based on the legend of the Grand Duchess Anastasia of Russia and follows a young woman with amnesia trying to find her true identity amidst rumors that the young Duchess has escaped the execution of the royal family. The atmosphere of this movie changes from totally haunting to very bright and charming and right back to haunting again. And the music is also especially great with Journey to the Past being nominated for Best Original Song at the Oscars that year. Arms will open wide, I'll be safe. And wanted finally home where I belong. So why is this movie underrated? Why don't more people talk about it? Well, for one, there was a big anti-marketing campaign done by Disney right before the release of Anastasia, which included re-releasing The Little Mermaid. So needless to say, this one just kind of got lost in the mix. But I think this movie really holds a candle to a lot of the Disney Renaissance movies of this era, and it deserves more praise. And it's clear that our fans feel the same way, so I'm really happy to see this included on our list. You hear that, child? You did it! <laughs> <laughs> Number eight is Hunchback of Notre Dame. How can such a cruel man have raised someone like you? Cruel? Oh no! He saved my life. He took me in when no one else would. I am a monster, you know. He told you that? This dark story sees a prejudiced judge kill an innocent woman and be forced to raise her child. But because he didn't like the child's appearance, he made the child grow up in the dark and named him Quasimodo. Now grown up, Quasimodo tries to get into the real world and also fight the prejudices of society. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry. This wasn't supposed to happen. These dark themes are exactly why Disney may have shelved this film. It did really well, over quadrupling its budget at the box office. But since 2002, it's like this movie never existed. We need to bring it out of the dark once more and highlight a movie about looking past appearances and embracing all people. At number seven, we have Titan AE. I want you to risk your life. I want you to give up everything you have to join the mission where you'll face terror and torture and possibly gruesome death. And I would want to do that because... This sci-fi gem has a massive all-star cast featuring Matt Damon, Bill Pullman, John Leguizamo, Nathan Lane, and Drew Barrymore, which is actually insane given how little this movie is talked about. The visuals here are awesome, particularly the ice crystal sequence, which is beautiful. It also has this edgier, more sarcastic tone and an alt-rock soundtrack that really sets it apart from the Disney canon. It's family-friendly for sure, but definitely PG. Like, there's some innuendo and some real violence in there. But this movie reportedly lost the studio about a hundred million dollars. Ouch. It's not what we did. Hmm. They're afraid of what we might become. Yeah, well, 
looks like we're becoming extinct. Due to major issues at Fox Animation Studios, the marketing just wasn't there for Titan AE, and audiences just weren't really used to seeing animated sci-fi at this time, so along with the adult tone, Titan AE just never really found its fan base amongst a sea of animated fairy tales and musicals of the era. But that doesn't mean it's not good, and that's why fans fought so hard to include it on this list, overlooked but not forgotten, justice for Titan AE. You know, I never said I was going to help you guys. We never even addressed what's in it for me. Why, you get to be a hero. A hero? Come on. Number six, a goofy movie. Max, this isn't just my vacation. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy. Oh, Donald Duck? No, silly. With you. <laughs> Me and our fans definitely see eye to eye on this one for sure. The tagline for this movie is, it's hard to be cool when your dad is goofy, and to me that sums up the genius of this script. You don't just see antics and antics and antics, you really get to know the characters and their feelings, which makes the emotional arcs of the story really powerful. Not to mention, the songs are fire, the dancing is fire, and every single background character is hilarious and unique. The script actually manages to make a cool movie out of goofy, which is amazing listen about my directions will you listen to me i gotta tell you something dad why bother i'm probably too stupid to understand anyway right so while this movie is equal parts heartwarming and hysterical critics never really got it in its time but since then in the years that have followed it's really developed a cult following and seems to be getting more popular every year i'm stoked that it's finally getting its due this was a classic in my house growing up so i think there's something here for everyone good job fans Number five is The Road to El Dorado. You said so yourself, it could be possible. And it is, it really is the map to El Dorado. After two con artists find a map to the city of gold, they're ironically mistaken for golden gods. At first they try to take advantage of it, but then they decide to actually help the locals. Now this film is packed with a lot of humor and fun action scenes, however, Critics blasted it because they thought the characters were too unlikable and too irredeemable. It's an entire city of suckers! <laughs> we just have to keep this up long enough to load up on the gold and then get the hell out of here! It also flopped at the box office at the time. But since then, it has a prominent place in meme culture. There are so many memes for this movie that are so fun, and it matches the fun action scenes. So if you haven't taken this trip, Give it a chance, you won't regret it. I've decided to stay. Oh, this is wonderful news. What a glorious day for El Dorado. Number four is the Prince of Egypt. Take the staff in your hand, Moses. With it, you shall do my wonders. This DreamWorks story tells the story of Moses, and it doesn't pull punches even though it's aimed at a younger audience. We see all the darkest parts of the biblical story, but at the same time, it lets us see the light and the struggles that everyone was going through at the time. Something else is coming, something much worse than anything before. Please, let go of your contempt for life before it destroys everything you hold dear. Think of your son. I do. Now, despite having gorgeous animation and a song that won an Academy Award, somehow this one has been largely forgotten by time. It's overshadowed by other DreamWorks classics like Shrek and How to Train Your Dragon. But just because Prince of Egypt can't exactly be a franchise, it still deserves the attention that any franchise gets. It's gorgeous, it's catchy, and it will move you every time. Who knows what Number three, Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Welcome to the city of Atlantis. Come, you must speak with my father now. So Atlantis is based on the works of Jules Verne and is an adventure film about a crew seeking the lost empire of Atlantis. Simple enough, but let's talk about what went into this movie. For one, the distinct comic book aesthetic was spearheaded by Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy, so the look of it is absolutely striking. They also invented a language, led by Mark Ockrand, the linguist who developed Klingon. <laughs> Nebulin and Kidu to it. 
This was a big production. There were plans for a franchise, a Disney World attraction that ultimately were scrapped when Atlantis didn't really perform at the box office. As it turned out, not everyone connected with the angular steampunk visuals. Some critics said it was too adult and it was released around the same time as Shrek, so ultimately it just got lost in the swamp. But in this sense, the movie itself is much like The Land of Atlantis, a lost treasure. The visuals are incredible, the dialogue is quick-witted, and every character is unique and memorable. And interestingly enough, a lot of fans have noted that this movie inspired their own interest in archaeology and linguistics, so I think the criticism that this movie is too adult is far from universal. I think this movie deserves absolutely to be recognized as a classic, and I'm thrilled that we got to share this enthusiasm with our fans. Atlantis will honor your names forever. I only wish there was more we could do for you. Number two is the Iron Giant. You saw me save you. So, where are you from? This classic sci-fi tale tells us the story of a boy who meets a robot meant for destruction. But the robot rejects its purpose and befriends the boy. Unfortunately, the US government doesn't see it that way and tries to tear the two apart. This movie has emotional scenes and an unforgettable ending that has to do with Superman. Unfortunately, it was a box office bomb. Hooper, you stay. I go. A lot of this blamed on the Warner Brothers poor marketing team. It was marketed at the very last second, and most of the marketing budget went to Wild Wild West of all things. Unfortunately, even though it didn't soar in the box office, it has soared in the hearts for generations for being an emotional tale about looking past what you were made for and finding your own purpose. You're made of metal, but you have feelings and you think about things and that means you have a soul. All right, now before we reveal what you, the fans, chose as the number one most underrated animated movie of all time, we have got some honorable mentions to throw your way. My first honorable mention is The Secret of Nim from 1982. This is Don Bluth's first movie. The animation in this is absolutely gorgeous, rich, detailed, awesome story, and our fans agree this is a must watch. The rats escape from the t terrible cruelty of Nim. Andrew, what about you? I gotta go meet the Robinsons for my first pick. It's the story of a little orphan inventor who is whisked to the future to stop a really creepy villain. And along the way, there are so many jokes, so many running gags you have to watch multiple times, and one of the greatest animated jokes in history about a dinosaur with really small arms. Why aren't you seizing the boy? <laughs> My next honorable mention is Disney's Robin Hood from 1973. I don't know why more people don't talk about this movie. It, it was an absolute staple in my house growing up, so hearing our fans express their love for this film made me feel very seen. Everybody should watch this movie. It's amazing. It's no use, Johnny. I've thought it all out. And it just wouldn't work. Besides, what have I got to offer her? Speaking of feel your heart, my second honorable mention starts with someone getting their eyes stolen. It is Kubo and the Two Strings. It's a dark, stop-motion fantasy tale that has its beginning that rivals up and gets more emotional from there. If it didn't come out the same year as Moana and Zootopia, it might have more play, but guess what? It's not too late to check it out right now. Claim your birthright, Kubo. Give this story a happy ending. Everybody go watch Kubo and stick around. We're gonna reveal right now what you guys chose as the number one most underrated animated movie. So I could say this has been a happy story, or I could feel it. We could all feel it. At number one, we have Treasure Planet. It means that all that treasure is only a boat ride away. Whoever brings it back would hold an eternal place atop the pantheon of explorers. Cyberpunk space pirates, need I say more? I'm just gonna say it, this movie is 
so cool. Directed by John Musker and Ron Clements, who collaborated on other little movies like Aladdin and The Little Mermaid, maybe you've heard of it. Needless to say, these guys absolutely know what they're doing, and with an insane budget of $140 million, this is actually the most expensive traditionally animated movie ever made. And it shows. The animation and world building here are absolutely spectacular, especially the sci-fi tech, which is animated with such precision and imagination, but still really maintains that classic 2D look. It's really unique. And there's some major star power here too, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Emma Thompson, and Martin Short, all part of the main cast. So. Why was this such a flop of historical proportions? How did everyone miss this movie? I got some plans. Gonna make people see me a little different. Well, some people have pointed out how it was released about a week after Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is not ideal. Some critics pointed to the story, calling it a bit flat or a bit bland. But it's hard to say. What matters now is that this movie is finally getting its due. There is a very devoted fan base to Treasure Planet, with many fans calling for a live action remake. I see you guys, I'm one of you, I'm here for it. This movie is completely underrated and should be considered a classic. There's something special, Jim. You're gonna rattle the stars you are. Before we go and watch all these underrated animated movies in one big marathon, we wanted to say thank you to the fans. You left tons of comments and votes that were so fun to go through and made this video possible. Absolutely. Let us know in the comments below what you would put on your list of top 10 underrated animated movies. And feel free to drop us suggestions of topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Keep an eye on our socials for upcoming announcements about future fan rank episodes so you can make your voice heard. Thanks, everybody. This was awesome. I know you don't like touching, but get ready for a hug, big guy, because I gotta hug ya! <laughs>